Welcome to Betsy Lane High School's annual Winter Sport Senior Recognition Night. While this is just one night in the lives of our seniors, we feel that it is the least we can do to show our gratitude and sincere best wishes for future success to all athletes being honored here today. Our first athlete is Allison Kilburn. Allison. Allison Kilburn. Are they not going to come out? Allison is the 18-year-old daughter of Christy Kilburn and the late Jeffrey Kilburn. She is being escorted by Christy Kilburn and Jonathan Kahn. She is from the hometown of Martin, Kentucky, and she has been in STLP for three years. She has been in CEDAR for one year and three years of National Honor Society and BETA. Allison currently plans to attend the University of Pikeville for biology and attend Western Kentucky University and major in physical therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Allison Kilburn. Our next senior is Miss Kaylee Hayden. Kaylee is from Harold, Kentucky, and she is the 18-year-old daughter of Nathan and Brittany Hayden. Kaylee has been in band, stage band, academic team, and STLP, and she has participated in all kinds of activities all four years of high school. She is also one of the founding members of the BLHS Sewing Club this year. She intends to go to college at Moorhead State University and major in art education. Her fondest dream is to one day be a bobcat back on the hill teaching other bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kaylee Hayden. Our next senior is Mr. Peyton Centers. Peyton is a 17-year-old son of Wesley Centers and Shay Blair. Peyton hails from Dana, Kentucky, and he has been in stage band for two years. Peyton does lots of other extracurricular activities, and he is multi-talented, and as of this moment, has no idea exactly which college he will be going to, and is even possibly thinking about the military. Ladies and gentlemen, the undecisive, Peyton Akers. Peyton Sinners. Our next senior is Carter Akers. Carter is being escorted by his parents, Michael and Misty Akers. He is an 18-year-old from Dana, Kentucky. He plays stage band for the past two years. He also does very well on front porch picking. And he plays both the guitar and sings. Ladies and gentlemen, a future Moorhead State University Eagle, Mr. Carter Akers. <laughs> Reese Music is our first basketball senior this year. Reese is the 18-year-old son of Bill and Jamie Music from Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Reese is also multi-talented. He plays football, basketball, and baseball. This is his first year in basketball. He plans to attend Eastern Kentucky University. He also plans to make sure that all of his math is given to Miss Yancey by tomorrow morning.
and that he will be to AA on time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Reese Music. <laughs> Our next senior is Mr. Brady Robinson. Brady is a 19-year-old son of Jeff and Pat Robinson from Harold, Kentucky. Brady has been on the basketball team for five years and on the football team for four years. His future plans include attending college and thinking about what he wants to do, possibly Harvard and brain surgery, possibly not. <laughs> Mr. Brady Robinson. And last, but not least, Mr. Byron Tackett. Byron is a 19-year-old son of Dormal and Beth Tackett of Grethel. He has played four years of basketball, six years of baseball, four years of STLP, and one year of football. He plans to attend college and major in business, but word on the street is he might want to be one of the cool people and be a teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Byron Tackett. The faculty and staff of Betsy Lane High School would like to express our sincere appreciation and heartfelt thanks to these seniors. It's not every year that we're graced with such a dedicated group of seniors. Thanks again for all you've done to make this school such a wonderful place. You definitely will be missed on and off the court. Once a Bobcat, always a Bobcat. Thank you. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? 
Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. We offer speeds up to one gig, so you can game, stream, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Get started now at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 for more info. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. This changes everything. Gear Heart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gear Heart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Reliable internet is crucial for everyone. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If your household qualifies, the new affordable connectivity program can reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Learn more online today. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your account. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Gearheart Security's Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life sentry, camera-only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Harold to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Welcome to Betsy Lane High School for Senior Night here. You just saw that Senior Night video up a few minutes ago. And... Charlie Pinson, along with Justin Holbrook here to bring you the game tonight. Uh, Wayne Fugit on camera. Belfry and Belfry coming in uh, to play Betsy Lane. This is uh, well, this will be my last game of the regular season. I think you all got one on Friday night yes. back here again. But Belfry coming in 7-20 and 20 on the season. They're led in scoring, though, by Jonathan Banks at 18 points a game. Cody Urban with 19 or 9 points a game. Noah Brown and Caden Woolham. And also, Eric Daniels averaging about seven, so they spread it out a little bit. Uh, they are, let's see how they shoot the ball. They shoot the ball at a 40% clip from the field, 27 behind the three-point line, and 57 from the charity stripe. And let's see how they, they should be a pretty good rebounding team, I would think. And they average 32.9 rebounds a game. Jonathan Banks, again, 13.9 rebounds to lead them. Yeah, I see Banks over there in street clothes, so that's going to be a tall yeah, task to yeah. fill that void today. That's a whole lot right there, double-double. Yeah, you yeah. don't like losing that. Yeah. Uh, for Betsy Lane, uh, they come into the season 16-9, and nine, uh, led in scoring by Brady Robinson, 22 points a game, Andrew Kidd at 18, Pente and Byron Tackett at nine points a game, Carter Parsons at seven. And off the bench, they're going to play Isaiah Allen. He's about two points a game. 
Um, and Landon Howell at two points a game. And uh, Reese Music will come in and uh, play some physical ball for you. Uh, Rebounding-wise, Andrew Kidd at eight rebounds a game. Byron Tackett at five. Brady Robinson at four. Carter, Pen uh, Carter Parsons and Cameron Pente at three apiece. So um, Betsy Lane's about as good as you get in the region. Uh, that first five, they're just real short on the bench. I mean, they don't have a lot of depth. So, um, I mean, Robinson and Kidd are about as good a duo, you know, as you've got in the region. So your Belfry, that's obviously what you're going to try to slow down if you can. But uh, obviously, 21 points and 18 points a game, that's uh, yeah, not Bel a lot of people. Yeah, and Belfry team, it only averages 51 points a game. So that makes me think they're a uh, half-court type team. Yeah, they Betsy Lane, get, 70 yeah. points a game. So. Betsy Lane likes to come down <laughs> the floor, as we've seen on yeah. uh, multiple occasions. Yeah. You know, that's that's the way they run their offense, and, you know, they're going to take it from, from a hoop, look for an outlet. Yeah, and they're going to get after you when they score. They're going to get in the press. I mean, they're going to try to force turnovers. So, um, you know, if you're Belfry, if you can take care of the ball and uh, dictate your the game that you want to play, maybe you can – uh, hang in there, but now if um, if Betsy Lane puts up 70 night, I, I like the Bobcats oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, their chances are pretty good. But, you know, that. if you can get this game in the 40s or the 50s, then, you know, obviously I feel like Belfry can, uh, anything can happen. That's why we've got, we've got to throw the ball up. One of my old buddies that coached for a long time said, said, you know, said, if I'm not very good or I don't think I'm as good as the team I'm playing, said, I'm not I'm not going to let you play either. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hey, listen, there's no shot clock in high school basketball. I mean, you can be as patient as you want to be. Play ugly. Uh, but, you know, you've got to take care of the ball, and that's something that uh, Betsy Lane does really well is they get after you. We're just about ready for the starting lineups here tonight. Uh, based, I wouldn't be surprised if he started all these seniors here tonight. Yeah, well, he's only got the two. Three. Um, or, Reese, yeah, Reese yeah. is on there, too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Junior Newsom Arena on the beautiful campus of Betsy Lane High School for 50 region basketball action between the Pirates of Belfry High School and your Betsy Lane Bobcats. Now let's meet the teams. First, for Belfry, starting at guard, number one, Eric Daniels. Starting at guard, number zero, Cody Irwin. Starting at forward, number 21, Noah Brown. Starting at forward, number 23, Cole Barney. Starting at forward, number 11, Kate Woolen. And the head coach, Michael Hayden. Now you get ready for the Betsy Lane starting lineup. Yeah, it looks like Reese will get the start for Carter. Now Martin. let's meet your Bobcats. Starting at forward, a 6-5 junior. Number five, Andrew Kidd. Starting at guard, a 5-10 sophomore. Number four. Cameron Tinte. Now let's meet the seniors. Starting at forward, a six four senior, number twenty two, Byron. Starting at guard, a six-foot senior, 
number 24, Reese Music. And starting at guard, a 6 3 senior, number 10, Brady Robinson. The head coach, Derek Noose, official Reggie Gray, Marty Gibson. And there you have it. We're ready for the tip off here. As Belfry's already out there ready to go. Let's see. It's going to be interesting to not have uh, Banks tonight. Yeah, that's, that's be tough. Big man in the middle. Kid. Uh, it should be a good night for Kid in the middle. Yeah, Kid will be jumping center here for Betsy Lane. And it'll be controlled by Betsy Lane. Robinson will bring it into the front court. 2-3 zone, looks like, or 3-2 maybe. Yeah, sagging that guy. Yeah. Deep. It's Lane working around Robinson with the runner in the lane. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, puts it in. Now they'll come out with that. Looks like a 1-2-2 two, two trap out front. And they we get it into the front court with Irvin, a cross-court pass, three on its way, is good nice. by Noah Brown. That's the equalizer right there. Yeah. Hits you a couple of those. Robinson will bring it into the front court. Gets it back from Pente. Get it out front. Working it back around out top now to Pente. Robinson now will take it at the point. Kid from the elbow can't get it to go. Pente tips it. It'll be picked up by Belfry's Eric Daniels. Daniels will get it into the front court. And it'll be knocked away by Pente. And he'll get the layup on the other end. Four to three now. Betsy Lane on top for the first, for well, the second time. <laughs> 6.35 to go here in the first quarter. Again, there's that pressure. And Belfry gets it down in the paint. Passes cross court. Another three out of the corner by Brown. This one's wow. good again. He's ready. He's ready. That's a good job of breaking that it press, is, too. Yeah. I mean, that ball didn't bounce much. Get a good look. I'll go back inside. Ooh. Music. And he's going to get fouled. Might have got away with the steps there. Maybe. A little shuffle. Two shots. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want Noah Brown? Well, we don't want him in foul trouble the way not, he started. Not, not if you're betting Belfry <laughs> right now. He was high, didn't fire. Yeah. yeah. Free throw's good. Use it. Taking his time. And can't get the second one to go. It'll be knocked out of bounds by Pente on the rebound. It'll stay six to five. Belfry, 6-12 to go here in the first quarter. Well, well out after the missed free throw, they won't come up into the uh, press as much. They may trap in the half court. Nope, they get it up. Okay, extended 2-3 there. Yep. They do like to get after it. There's wow. Shot out of the corner again. Ooh. That was close. That was. Nice, uh, strong rebound put back up and in by Caden Varney. Uh, nice offensive rebound. Yep. 8-5 Belfry, 5.45 to play here in the first quarter. Pente, Robinson will try to answer with a three. It's no good. Rebound comes off in there to Brown. Irwin will bring it up the floor. Get it cross court to Brown. Go back inside. Nice little turn around in the paint. Nice move. Can't get it to go. Caden Woolham knocked loose, and Robinson will come out with it for Betsy Lane. He'll take it all the way to the rack, lays it in. Good take. I can see Brown shoot that shot down here. Yeah. I mean, he two for three. And it looked good, yes, the one he is. missed. Yeah. Out top with it, there's Daniels. He get, he's still out front looking. Got to trap him. He gets it over now to Irwin. Down in the corner. Cross court. Well, thought he was going to pass it down Brown. I would have. Nice move inside. Can't get it to go. And a fight for the rebound. We're going to get a travel, travel call. 
Yeah, I think the I think he got away with a couple walks there yeah. earlier. Betsy Lane doing a pretty good job on the glass though. Eight seven right now, Belfry with five four fifty five to play in the first quarter. Pintail bring it up the floor. Robinson. Back out to Parsons, who's in the game now. Trying to get it down underneath, and Robinson can't get it to go, but he can be fouled. Is that, do you say 11, Woolham? I think 23. 23, okay. Yeah, Varney. Sorry. Varney. Robinson ties it up with the free throw. Got one more coming. That's where you're Belfry. You got to handle this pressure. Yes. Makes them both. And 9 8 now, Betsy Lane. Okay. Looks like Belfry brought Caleb Hensley in, number 15. And they're going to try to bring it up the floor. That's Irwin gets it up quickly. Brown, three on the way. That was way off. Rebound picked up in there by Parsons. He'll throw it ahead. Pente down underneath. Nice pass. Down low, and that's two for Byron Tackett. 11-8. Betsy Lane now, 424 to go here in the first quarter. We got a 30-second timeout. So Belfry, I think, has made a pretty good account for themselves early here in this one. Yeah, yeah if you've uh, knocked down the two threes there, I mean, that... You know, you're averaging 50 points a game. You know, you're uh, already eight in the first quarter. You're kind of playing above your average, so, but you don't want to get up in that up and down game with Betsy Lane at all. Yeah, you know, you you really got to crash the boards hard yeah. on the offense being trying to get that second chance basket. Yeah, yeah, you've got to uh, limit, because really a rebound, defensive rebound for Betsy Lane is kind of like the start of a fast break. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Well, so, you saw that one yeah. a while ago. Really nice moving it down the floor. And here comes the pressure. Yeah. Full court man to man looks like. And they're going they're struggling to get it in. Now they do get it in. Over there to Woolham. Ball knocked loose, picked up by Robinson. He's gonna dunk one on him. Yeah, that uh that's what that pressure will do. I mean, how uh effortless that uh Irwin does a nice job getting it ahead. They find Brown over in the corner, pulls up Look nice pass. pass. And two underneath. That's 15, 15 yeah. uh, Caleb Kinsley, Kinsley coming off the bench. Got to go inside. Brady Robinson gets fouled. Zero. And zero. Four. Yeah, that'll be Cody Irwin. Nice pass in and two easily for Andrew Kidd. His first basket. Trying to bring it up the floor over there is Daniels. Good pass. Yeah, they gets it up ahead. They find Brown over in the corner. That's his spot. Shots way off this time, though. And quick rebound by Carter Parsons. He'll push it down two on two. Takes it to the rack. Lays it in. Good tight. Back the other way quickly now. Try to go down inside to good Daniels. Pass. Outside three is good over there for Irwin. Good pass. Well, Betsy Lane takes it down in the corner. Three on its way. No over there by Tackett. Rebound. What nice block on Brady Robinson there that time by Woolham. Loose ball picked up by Betsy Lane. They get it in the corner. There's Kid for three. It's good. They're clicking. 20, 20 points yeah. already. 20 to 13, and Belfry over there in the trap, and fight will be stolen away. They try to get it down low, and there's Parsons. shot up and good by Parsons. All five starters have scored yeah. for Betsy Lane. Kick it into the corner. Brown, another three. This one, nope, off the front. Rebound. Daniels puts it up. Oh. In and one. Good finish. Twenty two twenty two left here in the first quarter. Twenty two to fifteen. Betsy Lane with the lead. So 
both teams a little above their scoring average oh, yeah. right out well, in this first quarter. That's, uh, you know, Betsy Lane, if they can get some turnovers and get out and transition, they're tough. I mean, that's uh, that's their M.O. And, you know, if you're Belfry, you've kind of fed right into it. Daniels makes the free throw. But, you know, 16 points, you're only down six. Yep. Playing pretty good. You're way above your average no, right way now. above. There's a three up top, Robinson good. You, you can't let them have open looks. He's got 11 in the first quarter, so having a pretty good senior night. Daniels gets it up over to Woolham. They go down in the corner. Drive shot, no good in there by Barney. Rebound, Betsy Lane. Kid going to bring it down the floor, kicks it over in the corner. Robinson, a little scoop shot, Ooh. can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Betsy, or Bet Belfry will come out of there with it. Woolham will bring it up the floor. Gives it up now to Daniels. He'll pull up for a three. And it's way off. And stepped out of bounds before he get it back in. Minute 37 to play here in the first. 25-16, Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane will bring it up the floor. Robinson over to Parsons. Robinson, Good nice pass. pass. And laying I, it in inside there is Isaiah Allen. Allen, yep. We got a foul on the other end. Number two, Tanner Martin. Tanner Park, okay. Twenty-seven sixteen, Betsy Lane, minute eighteen to go here in the first quarter. We'll get it inside. There's gonna be a shot up and a foul as Cody Irwin goes to the basket. He'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Foul will be on uh Kid, kid, yep, Andrew Kid. Irwin has two shots. First one up and rims out. Just a minute 16 left here in the first quarter, 27 16, Betsy Lane. Second foul shot, good. 27 17. Robinson will bring it up the floor now for the Bobcats. Gets you back out top of the key, pulls up for a three. This one is no good. Rebound put back up and in in there by Tanner Martin. They've got seven, or now eight players score. That's about as deep as Betsy Lane will go. Yeah. Woolham kicks it over into the corner. Brown, that's the other side, pulls up, puts this one off oh, the glass. Yeah. They're going to get him for the charge. Yep, he's waiting on him. That'd be two on Brown. Yep. 49 seconds left here in the first. 29-17, Betsy Lane. Good job by Robinson. He was just waiting on him there. Yep. Sacrificed his body. They will probably play for one here, I would think, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. But when you've got 29 in the first quarter, you might want to just go ahead and I just keep playing. Yeah, just keep putting it up. But they're going to hold, though. Yeah, good news for uh, Belfry, you scored 17. The bad news, you gave up 29. 29. Yeah. And they're going to pass it around out front. There's Robinson. 25 seconds. Robinson out front. Gives it up. Parsons. Martin, they get it back out top. There's a three. Robinson, and it's an, I'm sorry, it's Parsons. Air ball. Yeah, you. If you take that one, you got to make that one. Yeah. If you wait that day, that wait that long. Pressure is. See, they'll try to get it up. Woolham pushing it up the floor. Gets down in the corner to Daniels. Ball knocked loose. Here comes Robinson the other way. Ooh, I think he got it. And yeah, I think so. Count it. Yeah. Thirty-one seventeen. Betsy Lane at the end of one on the Intermountain Sports Network. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. 
Click MyGTV.com to sign up. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Back here at Betsy Lane, 31 to 17. Betsy Lane on top, uh, firing on all cylinders, yes. 31 in the first quarter. No, Bel Belfry didn't look bad on the offensive end, but no. they don't. Yeah, that's not much uh, defense, though. No, that's uh, that's that's going to get you in some trouble on pace to give up 120, yep. you know. But, again, you're way above your average as yep. well. You know, they only average 50 points a game. Just, what, 60, 68, 68 points? points yeah. yeah, I mean, but, you know, 120 to 68 is not going to do No, I ain't feel like very pretty, is <laughs> no. it? No. Now bring it into Daniels. Bring it into the front court. Daniels dribbling around, double teamed out there. Going to have it stolen away by Pente. Lays it up. Woo! Up on the other. I'm, I'm not sure that one to set up off the glass. 100% of set up. Yeah, 100%. And there's, that's 33-17. There's a long three out there by Irwin, and it's nothing but air. Getting caught up in the speed of the game, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what Betsy Lane wants. Yeah, you're right. A quick shot. Yeah. Robinson spins, takes it into the lane. Nice block in there. Yes. I don't believe that was Woolham. Back the other way now. Irwin Good kicks pass. it back out top. They'll kick it down low to Woolham. Woolham, nice athletic move. Can't get the shot to go blocked inside. Another rebound put back up and in this time by Caden Barney. There's kid, nice, wow. strong drive. What a finish. Gamble a little bit there quickly. Irwin gets it into the front court. There's a little pull-up jumper. No good this time by Varney. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Belfry. 641 to play here in the first half. 35-19. Betsy Lane. Irish looking to get it inbounds. Kick it over in the corner. Three on its way. Good over there by Eric Daniels. That's their fourth three-pointer. Yeah. They've hit some shots, just tough to get some stops. Right. Out top, Robinson gets down the corner to Kid. Kid comes in the lane, a little shot. Nice job facing himself up, getting a good look at the basket for two. Yeah. 37-22 now. Betsy Lane, 6 12 to play here in the half, and there's going to be a walk called on Daniels. Yeah, Betsy Lane, or Belfry, almost halfway to their season average here in the first quarter, six minutes to go. Hagee into the ball game now for Belfry, wearing 44 down there. Out top with it, Robinson. Robinson takes it into the lane, spins. Whew, falling away, lays it in. He's got 17. Right. They're on fire right yes. now. Yes. Making circus shots. Back the other way. Whoa. Throws it off the glass. Can't get it to go. Irwin rebound put back up. No good in there. I think that was Varney. Yeah. Rebound comes off quickly. Parsons takes it on. Nice pass, pass. down underneath. Pente for two. No look pass. Parsons is growing up a little bit yeah, on that guard now. That's there you he, see it. He's played well. There's another steal. Pente lays it up, can't get it to go. And Robinson got steal. We're gonna get a foul. I think Pente might have got called in between throwing yeah. it off the backboard again for a dunk or yeah. trying to make it. Foul will go on Daniels. Be his first. It'll be Betsy Lane getting it inbounds. Pente will throw it over to the top. Tack it. Takes it down the lane. Good block. Yep. 
Shot up good. No good. Who says at 25 in the game there? Yes. Burke. Aiden Burke. There's a three by Brown. No. Fight for the loose ball. Rebound. And oh, it'll be lost out of bounds. Yeah, he had it. He did. It yeah. slipped right out of his hands. 4.59 to go here in the first half. 22 or 41 22. Betsy Lane over Bill. Yeah, it's all Betsy Lane. Yes, it has been. Allen back into the ball game for Betsy Lane. And ball, I guess Belfry thought it was tipped. I don't know. I don't think it was. I couldn't tell. I, mean, I, you know. I couldn't either, but uh, they're, they're convinced it was, but I didn't, yep. I didn't see it. That's the other way, Betsy Lane. Out top, Robinson. Kid. Working his way Ooh. into the paint, pulls up. I believe that might have been tipped on the way up. Rebound comes down to Irwin. And laying it on the other end is Woolham. His first two. Step back three, good. Two, two, two. Gave him two? Okay. Yeah. He's got 19 in the first half. All around there, try to get it up. Nice catch down the other end by Woolham. Looked like a wide receiver, and he gets fouled going to the basket. Yeah, that'd be two on the kid. Yeah, that was a great catch yeah. there. I mean, it's like a wide, like yeah. I said, like a wide receiver. You that or a center fielder running down yes. the fly ball. Yeah. Man, it'll be two free throws coming. Woolham bricks the first one. You'll have one more. Second one's up and no good. We're going to have a lane violation. Yep. On number four on Pinta. Yeah, I, I, they're right. It was a good got call. Got in early. It was a good call. I thought it was maybe Woolham coming across. Trying oh, to chase it down. Was, he was down on the bait on the on the block down there and stepped Scott in early. Ed. Yep. And can't make it. Pente goes gets the rebound this time though. Back the other way, Robinson. Down in the corner, they work it back. Robinson who splits two defenders and he's gonna get fouled. Let's see if they oh got twenty three got Barney. Yep. Thought they got Woolham. It'll be two on Barney. Yep. That'll send Robinson to the free throw line. 352 to play here in the first half. 44-24. 45-24. Betsy Lane. Give Robinson 20. Pretty efficient first half. Yep. Got one more coming. And this one's good. He's having a pretty efficient night, yes, to say the least. Is. Tried to get it into the backcourt. Ball knocked down. That's Caleb Hensley. It's up to Brown. Back out top, Burke. Brown gets it out front. There's a three on its way. Good. That's uh, Irvin. Irvin. Yep. That's his second three-pointer. Robinson and trying to answer on the other end. Can't get it to go. Rebound picked up in there by Burke. Burke will take it all the way. And I think he was waiting on the charge call. And yeah. If he kept going, he'd, you know, if he kept going, he might have got it too. Rebound on the other end. This time it's going to be a foul on Ir uh, not Irwin, oh, but Allen. Allen. Yeah. 316 left in the first half. 46 27. Betsy Lane. Bring it up the floor. Irwin, double team back. Now it goes to Daniels. And they're going to have to get it across quickly here. Run out of time. Yeah. Gets it up. Three on its way. Irwin, good. He's dialed in. That's his third three. They've hit six, I think, yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Quickly the other way, Pente out to Robinson. Robinson gets it back. 
And shot up and good by Tackett. Bringing it up the floor over there's Daniels. He'll fire it up into the front court. Cross court goes. There's Brown for three. And made his first two and hadn't made one since. No. Three on its way. Good, Daniels. Second chance points. It's her seventh three-pointer. Kind of hanging around. Yeah. Out top, Robinson. Picked up his dribble now. He'll give it up to Tackett. Back to Robinson. Robinson comes in, <laughs> just dunks it. They just lost sight of him. Yeah. Just unimpeded. Oh, got a shoe untied. That's what he's pointing at. I was wondering what he's pointing at. 50 33, Betsy Lane. We're on. 30 second timeout called by Betsy Lane. If it goes like this, they're looking at 100 to 66, yeah. which is way above either one yes. of these teams' yes. scoring average. And we've still got two minutes to go. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the third dunk for Robinson tonight. And he had the one at the end of the first quarter that probably could have been a dunk, but he was trying to beat the buzzer. So uh, just anything Betsy Lane wants right now. You know, and credit Belfry, though. I mean, they're making some shots, uh, kind of hanging around. I mean, you would think the way uh, the game's going that it would be a 40-point game at this point. But you look up, it's only 17. Yeah. Uh, the so three-pointer three has been an equalizer. It has. They've hit seven three-pointers, so. I wonder if they, when maybe they hit on a nightly base. We'll look it up in a minute. We'll look at it at halftime. Yeah. Here comes the pressure again. Trying to get it in, and he's going to nice pass down, down court. Over in the corner, Brown, they'll give it up. Oh, good pass. Nice pass give down inside, and he'll get it to go this time. Brown for two. Good give and go. Kid. Looked at the three, spin, shot, oh. and a foul. That'd be three on Varney if it's on Varney. Yeah, 23, you're right. Free throw's good. Kid's got such a good spin move there. He just keeps it so tight when he... Uh, he get he covers a lot of ground really fast. Music checking back into the ball game. Free throw up, nope. Oh. And Hagee tips it out, but it'll be run down by Betsy Lane's Robinson. And he'll throw it out top. Back over to Pente. Hands it to Robinson out front. Robinson on the drive, gets it to go. 25. He's above his average yep. already. Out top with it. Daniels with a nice drive. Pulls Good up. Move. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound comes off to Robinson. And here comes the Bobcats. Robinson going down past music. And the senior gets a basket. Robinson. Quickly back the other way. Brown, another three on its way. Nope. Rebound put back up. No. Rebound this time comes off to Music. Kid will bring it up the floor for Betsy Lane. Kid going to take it to the rack. Gets it to go. 57-35, Betsy Lane. There's a three. And it's Irwin. good by Irwin. That's his fourth three-pointer, third this quarter. He's hot. He is. Yep. Him and Robinson both. Yeah, that thing looks like a yeah. wash to I don't top. remember him missing any either. I don't either. Robinson out top. About to get the five. Yeah. And he got it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he was uh he was counting the whole time. I thought he Brady probably thought he broke the count there, but he didn't stop the count. So, so it'll be Belfry basketball. 11 seconds left. And Irwin will walk it into the front court for the first time in a long time. Oh. With no pressure. Deep three. No. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> wow. EOP. Yeah. Three on its way. Pente can't get it to go. Oh. So at the end of the half, 57 41. Betsy Lane will take that lead into the halftime on the Intermountain Sports Network. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We offer speeds up to one gig, so you can game, stream, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Get started now at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 for more info. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Reliable internet is crucial for everyone. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If your household qualifies, the new affordable connectivity program can reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Learn more online today. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Gearheart Security's Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life sentry, camera-only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Herald to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. 
I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. Welcome back to Betsy Lane High School. 57-41, big halftime score. Yeah. Betsy Lane with the big lead. Give me some numbers, my friend. For Belfry, they were led in scoring by Cody Irwin, uh, five big threes. I mean, he hit four there in the third quarter. I don't think he missed any. I, I could be wrong on that, but I don't remember, I don't remember him missing him. any. He shot uh, that last one from way down there. Yes. And I don't know how many of them hit the rim, too, because they both, I mean, all of them looked uh, pretty pure. Um, Noah Brown with eight points, two for Caden Woolham, nine for Eric Daniels. He had two threes as well. And Caden Varney with four and Caleb Hensley with two. For Betsy Lane, they were led in scoring by Brady Robinson. He had 25 in the first half. Andrew Kidd with 12, four for Carter Parsons, four for Byron Tackett, four for Cameron Pente, two for Isaiah Allen, two for Tanner Martin, and three for Reese Music. So um, I had the rebounding battle, 17 to 15, uh, Betsy Lane on top, and Betsy Lane of those five were offensive rebounds, and Belfry just about all. I mean, they had one, they had eight offensive rebounds out of their fifteen. So, which you know, when Betsy Lane puts up fifty-seven points, not a lot of not, chances you know, for no, defensive well, you know, rebounds. You know, you know Belfry, you know, of course, Belfry a lot of those were long rebounds because they yes, shot a lot of threes. threes. That, yeah. Well, they said so they hit like seven or something. In yeah, the they first hit seven half? or eight threes. Eight in the first half because he hit five. Uh, Brown's got two. And Daniels has got two, so they've actually got nine, nine three-pointers nine. in the first half. Well, that's how you, that's how you stay afloat. Yes, But, absolutely. you know, you got to play some defense along with that. Yeah, I mean, they average 50 points a game. They've got 41. Yeah. So, I mean, you're right there. But, again, you've gave up uh, not a lot of resistance on the defensive end down here for Betsy Lane at all. It's just anything they want, anytime they want. So, 57-41, Betsy Lane here at the half. We'll be back with second-half action in just a moment. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. You can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearheartfiber.com to find out more. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Back here at Betsy Lane, 57 to 41. Looks like it'll be Betsy Lane ball out of the halftime. 
out of the locker room. Well, it's Betsy Lane's ball, but they may uh, all the officers are playing home. I'm sure they it's their ball. No, oh, yeah, they <laughs> definitely their ball. I would hope so. Well, if it uh, if it's Belfry's ball, I think I'd want to keep it. Yeah, you put up fifty seven. Yeah. The... Quick drive, pin, one nice catch by Pente. Back Robinson steps into a three. It's no good. Rebound comes off in there to Varney. Belfry will bring it back up the floor. I wonder if both teams can shoot on the other goals just as yeah. well as they did in the first half. Yeah, Irwin, I, that may be Belfry's ball, the way Irwin, Irwin shoots. Yeah, he likes it. Out top with it is Daniels. And that might have got by the wall. Yeah. Shot up off the side of the backboard. No good. Rebound comes up. That's Pente racing down the floor. Gives it up. Shot up and good. Is that Parsons? Parsons? I couldn't yeah. see Pressure coming down. They'll bring it up the floor quickly. Brown still over in that corner. Is even get good from that side. That three is on its way, way off. Nice rebound and a put back on the inside by Kate Varney. Robinson back the other way. Fires it over in the corner to Parsons. Parsons takes it in the lane, puts it off the glass. No. Rebound comes off inside to Brown. Back the other way again, Daniels. Top of the key. Daniels takes it into the lane. Yep. Yeah. Got to let go of it before you come back down. Yeah. What's the turnover? Did you keep a turnover? Yeah, I've got seven for Belfry, and I don't have Betsy Lane with a turnover yet. I'm not sure that they've had one. I don't either. Nice pass down inside. Oh, good hands. Oh, right on. That's good hands. Yep. Great hands by Brown. Out of bounds on Belfry. will stay with Betsy Lane. Get in the corner. There's a three. Robinson, no. And wow. tiptoe tip down. Gets yeah. it out to Pente. Back to Kid. Three out of the corner. No. Rebound Brown. Well, they've not, uh, they've not kept that same field goal percentage. Nope. Three on its way. Nope. Turn around, put up. No good inside by Varney. Back the other way, Robinson. Takes it to the rack. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes off in there. Varney, there's a three on the other end. Stuck. A little jump ball. That's the... Uh, not sure I agree with that rule, that you get the ball back after you shoot that yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. You know... But it is a jump it ball. It is a jump ball, yep. So Belfry will have it. Trying to get it in. Throw it out top. Varney, or sorry, three Daniels. good by Daniels. Eric Daniels. It's his third three. Tenth three-pointer of the game. It's a lot of three. Yep. And Robinson on the other end. Pente. Attack it. Gets it cross court. Parsons. Oh, man. Damn, that'll be a foul. Yeah. Out front. That'll be four I don't on think Marty. Kate Marty can argue on that one. No. Much. No. No, that was a good shoulder block. It'll be Betsy Lane ball on the baseline. 528 to play here in the third. 59-46. Bobcats over the Pirates. Ooh, oh, nice job wow. in there by Kid. I'll throw it ahead. Woolham and oh. boy got himself a tough one. Pretty good ball handle over there. Three out of the corner for Brown. Good. That's their 11th. His third. Try to go down inside, be a foul. Let's see. Be on 10, number 11, 11. Noah oh. Brown. Nope. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, well, yeah. I'm sorry. That's his fourth. Oh, first. Okay. Kick in the corner. There's a three. Parsons. Good. We have had a lot of threes made in this yes, ball game. Absolutely. Daniels gives it up. Irwin. 
We're about double team him, man. There's the steal, Robinson. Mm. Robinson will go to the free throw. Well, maybe. Let's see. They want to say he's a shooting foul or not. It'll be on Irwin. Two shots. Be Brady's first points of the half if he can knock one down. That's the first. First one looks good. You're right. 65-49, Betsy Lane with 437 to play here in the third. One more coming for Robinson. It's good. 66-49. Comes that Betsy Lane pressure. Woolham. Irwin. Irwin gives it up to Daniels. Trying to go down. Thought it went right through his hands. Yeah. He got a good recovery over there by Hensley. Woolham. And gonna be fouled on the way. He out of bounds back to Belfry on the baseline. Kente's first. I get it in. Kick it inside to Woolham. Over to Daniels. Down in the corner. There's a three on its way. Good. Got it. Guess who? Irwin. Irwin. It's his sixth three pointer. I mean, you know, the pace of the game. Yep. There's the first turn. Hey, Rob just. I don't know, just forgot. <laughs> you see a look on his face. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, forgot. Oops. Uh, you next time he makes one, they won't say crackies. It's Irvin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he kept his pivot foot down that yeah. time. Irwin gets it back up top. Work it around there, down in the corner with it. That's uh, Brown. Can't Irwin. leave that guy. Nope. Woo. That's close to it. Rimmed yes. out. Quickly up the floor over to Robinson. Robinson drives into the lane. Charge. Got the charge. That'll be Robinson's first. You know, the as dominating fashion as it's been, I mean, it's only a 14-point yeah, game. I mean, I mean that's yeah. the, the ultimate equalizer is that three-point basket. Robinson will run her from the free throw lane, gets it to go. 30 second timeout called by Betsy Lane. 68 52. Bobcats over the Pirates with 3.30 to go in the third. Yeah, just that three point shot. I mean, it's just keeping them alive. A uh, 16 point game. And I mean, the, the flow of the game, you would think it's a 25 yeah. 30 point game, but Belfry. I, I'm going to count them up nine, here. Maybe They've hit 10. three this uh, this quarter. So that's 12 then. Yeah. Yeah. Got 12, 12 three pointers. 12 three pointers. How many Betsy Lane had? Uh, let's see. They've got one, two, three. So 15 three pointers in the game so far. Uh, Robinson's got one. Kid's got one. And Parsons got one for Belfry. Irwin's got six. Noah Brown has three, and Eric Daniels has three. So, it's a lot of threes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Twelve of them. <laughs> uh, Robinson with the steal and the basket. That's a dozen. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a dozen. Just think that was eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Robinson tries to steal it again, takes it out of bounds. <laughs> Urban looks like, is my hand still there? Yeah, he needs to, need to protect that shooting hand. Yeah. And there's going to be a, a steal. Allen with that the steal. Takes it. Kid with the finish. Kid with the finish, yep. That's pretty easy. Yep. Well, that timeout's worked for Coach Newsom. Yep. Woolham going to take it. Missed it. Rebound comes off in there to Martin. Move. Nice. Allen can't get, got a nice move. Couldn't get it to go. They'll get it up quickly to Woolham. Woolham lays it in off the glass. And we're going to have a foul. And that will be on Noah Brown, I believe. That'll be his third. Oh, oh Daniels. Daniels. Be his second. 
don't, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I, I thought that was. Okay. I'd already put it in the book, so okay. yeah, right. I thought. Maybe so. I thought. Well, I thought it was Brown too. Yeah. Yeah, I marked him as a foul. Runner up and good over there by Robinson. Brady's back now. He's got eight in the quarter. Daniels. Irwin. In the front court. Burke. Get it back over in the corner. Try to go down inside. Shot is good in there by Barney. 74-56 with 2.18 to play here in the third. Betsy Lane. Robinson. Pente. Robinson, three. It's mm. good. <laughs> That's 11 in the quarter. And Irwin's going to get fouled. That's going to be Pente. Yep. Well, you know, one of the good things for if, if you're Brady is this game stays close like this, you're going to get a play in the fourth quarter. Yeah. I mean, you're scoring a lot of points. 77-56. That's a lot of points on the board. Yes. Still in the third quarter. Minute 50 to play. There's steal by Betsy Lane. Oh. And it didn't get that one off very well. Oh, nice little Euro step. Yeah. And he'll pick up the foul. So Irwin will go to the line. Be three on kid. You're right. It feels like it should be a lot. Yeah, I mean. Distance, but it's only a 21-point yeah. game. 77-56, minute 45 to play here in the third. And Irwin at the line for two shots. I wonder if that would be too close for him or not. Yeah. <laughs> Give him 20. Of course, he is a senior. That will hurt Belfry. Yes. Yeah, missing Banks tonight, too. Yeah. They've rebounded the ball really well, though. Free throws up. This one's good as well. 77-58. Minute 42 to play here in the third. Parsons goes inside. Nice passing down low. Kid Ooh. and gets fouled. Yeah. I think that'll be on Burke. Yeah. Kid on the line for two. Off the back iron. One more free throw coming for Andrew Kid. Same one on its way. This one no good as well. Rebound comes off in there to Burke. Nice rebound. It'll be Daniels bringing it up the floor. Daniels kicks it over to three on his way. He's good. Oh, wow. Seven threes. Seven threes for Irvin. Irvin is having a night, isn't he? Yes. I'm not sure what the record is uh, at Belfry. I don't but know. There's a three on the other end. No by Robinson. Rebound, though, comes off. Tack it. There's Robinson Ooh. with the dunk. <laughs> He's, uh, that's his fourth dunk of the night. Out top, they go back, kick it outside. Burke for three. It's way off. Rebound, Kid. Kid's going to take it down the floor, takes it in the lane, and he's going to be fouled out front by Jared Daniels, I believe. Be his third. 41 Eight, seconds eight, left, 79 61 here in the third quarter. Well, it's Betsy Lane leading. Attack it, puts it up in the lane, good. The finish. 35 seconds left. I don't see either one of them slowing down right no. now. No. I wouldn't. No, play the way you played. Yep. Try to go down inside, throw it away. Picked up in there by music. And now they'll wait and play for one with 19 seconds left. Robinson in the front court. Takes over on the left side, takes it into the paint, and have a jump ball call. It'll stay with Betsy Lane. Good call. I yep. thought he got his hand in there pretty clean. Brady looking for the foul. Sometimes you get that scoop shot so low, 
Robinson out front with him. Going to try to drive again. Puts a runner up. Good. Shoot. 83-61 at the end of three, folks. 83-61. <laughs> we'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Back here at Betsy Lane, 83-61, to 22-point lead for Betsy Lane. And outside the three-point shot, you know, Belfry has just kind of hung around. This should be a 35-point oh, yeah. game, yeah. but they have um, – 13 three-pointers on the night, so that's pretty impressive. Yes. Daniels into the front court. We've got uh, Brown. Little pull-up shot. No. Ball knocked loose. Picked up again by Belfry. Back inside. Shot up. No. And a foul. Let's see. That's Tanner Martin. Tanner Martin. Yep. That'll put Caden Barney on the free-throw line. So Barney will have two shots. First one's on its way. It is off. Got one more. Takes his time. Second one on its way, and this one's good. 83-62. 7.40 to play here in the ball game. Robinson up front. Over to Pinte. Back to Robinson. Robinson will be fouled on the floor. But now that may be a seven on the Pirates. They'll be yeah. one and one. Daniels. So that's his fourth. Is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is his fourth. I, they, I thought he said third. I was waiting to mark it down. But, yeah, I've, that's what I had, four. So, Brady Robinson already with 40 points. Free throw's good. Give him 41. So what, was there a number he was away? Was he 50 away? Well, I, I heard he's pretty close to 2,000. Uh, got Max some both. Said maybe 50 points away. So, he very well he's could be. Got a shot hit. at it. Yes, Absolutely. Better get a ball on standby over yep. there if you. <laughs> He's working it around the horn. Probably didn't think he was going for yep. 50, but. Little jumper short. Gets his own rebound, though, and blocked in there this time by Kid. Kid going to try to take it, pulls up from eight feet. Can't get it to go. Nice pass, you'll say. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> definitely a pass. Yeah. <laughs> Passes just look like a shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And everybody fooled. It's the only way he could get it to him. Yeah. Oh, man. That was almost highlight yeah. central there. Shot up. No good inside by Varney. Man, they have killed that the Brown, right. a deep three, and it is way off. Belfry is just, I mean, offensive rebounds, which, I mean, shooting all those threes, it yeah. kind of puts the bad bounce on there, but. Three. Woo. 52 away, they said. 52 away. Well, he's got 45. Yep. Seven so more. Seven points away. 2,000. Crazy. I wonder what the record, the individual scoring record is. I don't is. know. There's a shot up good in there by Brown. Kid. Back to Robinson. And in corner to Kid. Oh, give it to him. 
He's hot. Sweet. Yeah, gave it yeah. to him. Deep three. Ooh. This one there might have been a little bit out of range. Yeah. Here comes Irwin back. There's a drive inside. Nope. Brown offensive oh, rebound. Gank. Oh, it was a nice looking shot. Couldn't get it to go. Robinson will bring it back up the floor. 544 to play, 90 to 64. Oh, hey, that nice block. Wollum. Wollum did a nice job. Drive on the oh, other man. end, rebound. Another kid point blank. And yep. Kid couldn't get out of there fast enough to find Robinson on the other end. Robinson gonna drive in again. A little scoop shot, good. Official timeout for substitutions. Might want to run and get that. Uh, oh, Pinte looks like he got caught in the mouth. Yeah, caught in the mouth, maybe. Reese will come in for him. Yeah, somebody might want to run to the store and pick up that 2,000 point ball real yeah. quick. Yeah, they don't keep those good balls. They, yeah. they might just have to give him the game ball on this one. I'll tell you what, they, they, two of them want to have that game ball out there tonight. Yeah, true. Irwin would like to have it, I'm sure. He's he's, he's loved that. Belfry with it to get it oh. nearly a steal. And well, they get it back in. And then there's going to be a foul on music. music, Reese Music. I think Bert thought he had to save that ball when he could have just kind of kept it there, yeah. trying to keep it from over and back. There's Irwin for three. Nope. Oh, it looked good, yep. didn't it? Robinson. Oh, nice wow. job. It's a highlight reel for it Brady is. Robinson right it now. Is. 49. 49. 49 points. A little premature. I think yeah. I've got him with 49. I, he needs another point. Or well, he needs so, three. He's trying from our, I think they're trying to figure it out over yeah, there right now. Yeah, they do. Listen, there's a lot of numbers. I got a lot of twos and threes over here. That's tough to add up. Daniels. I think he'll get it, though. Four and a half minutes yeah. to go. And it'll be a foul. Looks like on music. Well, it's how many points? How many points has he got now? He got 49. So we say we, th we thought he needs 52. I think maybe yeah. 51 is what they're thinking. I don't yeah. know. I saw him hold up the two, two yeah. over there. Free throw is no good. Rebound. Yeah, Belfry rebounds. Another Burke one. Burke gets it back up. There's drive. Nope. And another, another one. offensive rebound. They can't get it to go. And this one will be out of bounds. He'll stay with Belfry. Wow. Another offensive rebound. Yeah, another. Another. <laughs> it just keeps on coming. And it'll be well, a nice pass down inside. Nope, more to go. Daniels for three. Nope. Music, Music. with the rebound. Nice rebound. I'm sure they're going to just say, here you go, Brady. Yeah. Pull the three. There's the there three. There it is. Nope. Get in there. We'll give it back to him again. Little floater gets it to go. We've got him for 51. We've got 51. That's unofficial for sure. I don't know if they got the they got the ball. I'm sure they'll announce it. Yep. Turn him up. Quite an accomplishment. Yes, it is. 2,000 points. Like I said, I'm sure they've got a basketball for him, but I, I'm sure nobody thought tonight it was going to be tonight. tonight. Yeah. And out top with it. Belfry. Yeah, go for yeah, three. Starting on three. Yeah. There's Burke for the shot. Nope. Rebound music. Brady Robinson pulls up. And it starts. That's 2002. 2002. 
98 to 64. Back out top. They work it into the corner. Back to Daniels. He'll step into a three. It's blocked, I believe. A nice job by Burke. Running it down. Got a got a timeout. I don't know. I didn't. Or, that's odd to tell a timeout to run players in now. Well, play's still going on, isn't it? That's true. Which I think they had the ball, though. Yeah. So I guess he called it. So the other three didn't count. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Brady with 53. See what uh, Belfry's making some uh, substitutions. So see how much longer Brady stays in the game here, which he may be trying to go for some kind of individual scoring yeah. record. I don't know what the record is for um, Betsy Lane. Yeah, for Betsy Lane. So. I don't know what Brady's career record is either. I I would say this is his high. <laughs> 53 is pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty tall, yeah. tall cut. It's been pretty efficient each quarter, too. There's a three. Yeah, it's, it's good. Going. Get it, get and, it he, and he shot one when he caught the timeout and made it. <laughs> it didn't count. That's his eighth three-pointer. Our shot up, nope. Rebound out of bounds. It'll go back to Belfry. Yeah, 2.45 now to play, 98.67. And it'll be, there's a three on the other end. Nope, didn't get this one to go. Rebound comes off to Kid. Back the other way. Three, was that shot? Who was that? Brady Robinson. Okay. So working back the other way. They try to go inside. Inside out. There's a shot. Three. Nope. Rebound comes off in there to Andrew Kidd. Brady Robinson. Deep three by Robinson. Good. Brady Robinson. And that may be it for Brady tonight. 103 to 67 right now. Betsy Lane with the huge lead. The Elk will be bringing it back down the floor. Irwin. Irwin has, has it knocked down. We'll get it back to Irwin. There's a shot up. Nope. That is. Deskins, and we got a foul on the floor. And the foul will be on Tanner Martin, his third. At the free throw line. It's no good by Hensley. Back the other way. Allen. And ball's knocked loose. And trying to get to the basket with it. Can't get it to go. And a fight for the rebound. Loose ball. Belfry gets it. Puts it up. No good inside. That was Hagee. And it'll be knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Belfry. 103-67. Under 40 seconds now to play. And ball knocked loose. Belfry working it, and will be stolen away. And Yall gets the dunk on the other end, Tanner Martin. And bringing it up the floor. Belfry can do what they do. it. There'll be a three on the other end. That's no good. Rebound comes off again to Betsy Lane. And he gets another one, Tanner Martin. And that'll do it for the ball game, 107 67. And look, we can see if we can get some uh, player interviews coming here. But what a night for Brady Robinson. I don't have the totals yet. I'll have to sit down and add them up here in a minute. But I'm waiting on the uh, hope Justin to get an interview with him over there. 
And here he's, he's looking for them. The three seniors, at least, I think. There they go. Heading over for him. And let's see. Okay. Hey, uh, three seniors, uh, Byron Tackett, Brady Robinson, Reese Music, Coach Derek Music, uh, or Derek Music, <laughs> Derek Newsom. Uh, Brady, I had you at 58. That's a good game. Uh, how you feel about it? I don't even know what to say. It's just crazy. I'm, I'm just happy. I don't even know what to say. Uh, you guys, uh, three seniors, uh, kind of been a long year. You know what I mean? You guys kind of battling down low, uh, 16 to nine. So now you're 17 to nine going into the district tournament. Uh, what's it mean to play for Betsy Lane for you? It means everything. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I loved playing, loved watching Betsy Lane, loved hearing about it, loved playing for them. It's just. Great opportunity. It is. Brian, what do you think the atmosphere is crazy, and all the students coming out and supporting us really helps us get the wins. Brady, your football, well, both of you, all three of you, you play football too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all three of you football guys. What's basketball mean to you? Playing basketball is a lot different than football. It's a lot more challenging. <laughs> and, I mean, through the practices and the games, the atmosphere like this, it's a whole lot of fun. I hear you. What, uh, so you guys going into district tournament next week, you got Prestonsburg, uh, what are we? Yeah, you guys play. For, oh, yeah, you got Eastridge Friday. Then uh, going into the district tournament. So what's the goal set for? What are we looking for? Uh, we're just going to put everything past behind us and 59. work one game at a time. Try to win. 59, get there. 59 points. Uh, I'm not sure what the record is for Betsy Lane, but that's uh, that has to be up there. 54. 54. Nice. <laughs> so uh, got a record setter here, guys. Good luck to you. Uh, district championship. Take care of Floyd County for us. Charlie, back up to you. Thank you, thank you. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment to Center Mountain Sports Network. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, Look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Welcome back to Betsy Lane High School. What was that final? 100 and... 100 and... Was 100 it 107? Did they count the last one? Yeah. It said about 107 then. It was 107 to 60... I think it was 68. 68. They, yeah. they took it off scoreboard on, so I didn't look. I didn't write it down. What a crazy night. 107, 67. Yeah. yeah. What a game. Yeah, just when you got, <laughs> yeah. you got a lot of numbers yes, to over. A lot of stuff to, uh, Belfry uh, led in scoring by Cody Irwin. He had 27 points. And what do you have? Three and six. He had nine three pointers. So that's a uh, that's a good night. That's twenty seven points. Right yeah, twenty seven. Uh, so that actually, yeah, well, twenty seven points for him. Noah Brown with thirteen, twelve for Eric Daniels, four for Caden Woolham, nine for Caden Varney, and two for Caleb Hensley. I had them with thirty rebounds and um, only twenty seven for Betsy Lane. So they did a really good job on yep. the glass. They just 
defensively. I mean, yeah. I, on a night like tonight, I just really don't know what you what you can do. So, um, for Betsy Lane, Carter Parsons with nine points, fourteen for Andrew Kidd, two for Byron Tackett, Cameron or six for uh, Byron Tackett, Cameron Pente with four, fifty nine big points for Brady Robinson, eight for Tanner Martin, and three for Reese Music. Uh, again, I had them with twenty seven rebounds. Uh, what can you say? I mean, yeah, fifty-nine. To, That's the most I've ever seen in person. I've seen personally. I've seen more, but I was play. I was in high school when <laughs> Irvin Steph was playing over right. Belfort. He yes. was averaging fifty points a game. Yeah. But you know that's that's a that's an impressive night here. Oh yeah, for Brady Robinson, and they weren't like say he did it every way you could do it. Yeah, just I mean it, it was. Uh, he had thirteen in the first, twelve in the second, fifteen in the third, and eighteen in the fourth. So I mean it wasn't. You know, I mean, it was just super consistent. So um, that's a good lead in. I mean, you, you've got one yep. game left. So uh, that's right. We, this is it. This yeah, is this last, last week, week of the season here, Friday night. I think you'll be back at uh, Shelby Valley Friday night for a doubleheader. Yeah. Uh, and, I think uh, it's Shelby Valley, not County Boys, and, and Pike Central, or Shelby Valley Boys and Floyd Central. And girls. Girls. So, so that'll wrap that's, us up for, bring the, up, yeah. for we'll the regular start the season. districts on Monday. It's big time. This is the time to be playing that's good. That'll wrap it up for us here at Betsy Lane. For Wayne Fugit on camera, for Alex back at the station, for my partner Justin Holbrook, this is Charlie Pinson. I'll see you next week on the Intermountain Sports Network.